Hello everyone, this is Zhen Zhen Wang. Today I'm going to present our paper, Learning from the CN-based Compressed Domain. Minghai and Yang Kuang are my co-authors. This work is done during my internship at Alibaba Research. Images are stored and transmitted in a compressed format. There is a growing trend and research to use scenes to compress and reconstruct images. When storing images, they are compressed only once into storage devices. The compressed features may be read multiple times for different learning purposes such as image retrieval or recognition. When images are transmitted to be learned in a remote device, the conventional pipeline is to compress, reconstruct, and learn in a sequential manner. One of the limitations of the conventional sequential pipeline is that the image reconstruction complexity is usually much larger than learning tasks, especially when resolution of images is becoming larger nowadays. For example, in this table, reconstructing an image costs over 3,600 GFLOPs, while a simple image recognition using ResNet 50 only requires 4.1 GFLOPs. In our paper, we propose to learn directly from the compressed domain, which does not need a reconstruction, and therefore save a large amount of computation. Showing in Figure B, the learning is directly performed from the compressed features. In this paper, we show that learning from compressed features can be as good as from reconstructed images. We also propose to use a subset of features instead of all to complete the learning tasks. Our experiments show that the proposed system achieves SOTA results on classification and segmentation. Let's now look at some details. The compression network downsampled the image by 16 times, and the reconstruction network upsampled it 16 times. The compression and reconstruction networks have the following architectures. With the compressed features, we could either reconstruct the images or directly conduct the learning tasks. We use ResNet and MobileNet as the backbone of learning tasks, shown in the following table. Note that the input to the learning network is the compressed features, not the reconstructed images. The loss function is designed according to the learning task. For example, mean squared error for reconstruction and a cross entropy for image classification. There is one catch. Sometimes the learning network requires a fixed size output, but the compressed features have variable sizes. We note that the adaptive pooling in the learning network can help to normalize the tensor size in the learning network. We use a 41-layer ResNet-like network to demonstrate the learning from compressed domains for both classification and segmentation. We also demonstrate a 45-layer MobileNet V2-like network for classification. The number of layers are chosen to match the computation complexity of, of prior art to show our improved accuracy at the same flops. Here are some results. Table 2 shows that under different bit per pixel scenarios, our classification from compressed features performs as good as learning after image reconstruction. In particular, when BPP is small, our accuracy is higher than conventional learning pipelines. Compared to the prior art of learning from the compressed domain, our framework has much higher accuracy and MIOU in both classification and segmentation tasks. Thank you for your attention.